guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Saturday Standout. I am so sorry I did not have a video out last week. I just had way too much going on with my giveaway with Sebamed um, and just other stuff going on. It was just crazy and I did not have time to fit it in, so I apologize. But we are back again this week and I have some favorites that I wanted to show you. Um, I do not have a fail thankfully. Um, but I do have a bunch of products that I do um, want to show you because I've been enjoying them this week. So let's just jump right in. First thing, no particular order as usual. Um, we're going to start with foundation. Um, I recently pulled this back up. Uh, rewind. I recently pulled this back out of my stash and I've been loving it all week. It's by Derma Blend and it is the Smooth Indulgence Foundation. This is in the shade Sand Beige and it's what I have on my face today. Um, really love it. Super full coverage. It doesn't get cakey. Um, it can if you build it up way too much, but honestly guys, one layer um, on your whole face and then if you need to spot treat I guess or spot cover for a second layer ish kind of situation you're okay um, I love this stuff I forget how much I paid for it um, I will look it up and look uh, put it down in the description box but I just love this foundation it's really good full coverage like I said doesn't give you a completely matte um, finish so again it's not going to stick to like your dry patches if you have them which I do because I've got a little bit of situations going on over here because of Ant Flow. But again, really love this foundation. It's by Derma Blends. I'll link it down below as I will everything else. So moving on, two bronzers I've been really loving um, this week. One by Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep. I love it. Again, I use this today as well. It's just like a matte, beautiful bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. Can you even see that? Yeah. It's really, really great for warming up the hairline around the face. Um, you can even get away with contouring with this because it's not too warm to the point where it's going to look like a slap of mud on your face. So love that. Another one um, is by Buxom and this is like a little, this is part of a set that I got. I forget what set it was. It could have been a 500 point perk. Um, it was. It was the Buxom 500 point perk and I picked up Tahiti or I got Tahiti. This is a beautiful bronzer and if you can see it does have some gold um, reflectiveness to it. It's really really great. What I've been doing with this is using it as like a blush topper or in addition to my blush. You know what I'm saying? I will go ahead with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil all over my face and then I will go just on the cheekbones with the Buxom Tahiti and it just adds a nice glow to the cheek and it just really warms up the cheeks, the face. It's really, really pretty and it's not too overbearing. So I've been loving that. Um, speaking of blush, this is by NYX and it's one of their big blushes. This is in the shade Pink Fetish and this is a baked blush, like I said. It's got a lot of sheen to it. No glitter, it's just a sheen blush and it's not too overbearing. And of course my swatching today sucks. I'm sorry guys. Um, like I said, it's not too overbearing on the face. It just kind of adds like a really pretty glow. So I've been going in with this as well as the Buxom bronzer on my cheeks. And again, I have it on today in the same method and it's just really pretty. It adds a nice glow, um, which you might not be able to see because I'm trying something new with my lighting. Um, I actually popped in a little, a little dude down here. So I apologize if the lighting is off, but I wanted to try something new because I felt like the back needed to be brightened up a little bit. So anyway, stop talking, Tina. Onto the products. Okay. Next thing. Um, let's just stick with the face since that's where we've been. Um, NYC's BB Bronzer. What is this? The BB Radiance Perfecting Powder. This I did a review on not too long ago. I'll link it down below. I love this powder, guys. This is probably the most smooth to the touch powder I have ever 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 put my hands on this stuff is amazing I absolutely love it over my BB cream or even over my foundation it's kind of got like a cream to powder consistency it feels very creamy in the pan um, and you can kind of see your fingerprints over the top of it so you know it has a lot of moisture in it it is just really good it gives my face a very perfected finish can't say enough about this it's like four or five bucks um, I don't know if they carry it anymore. Check at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. I think I picked mine up at CVS. Five bucks. Can't go wrong. This is the shade Naturally Beige, number 001. I will let you know that I do remember not seeing many shades of this. I know there was bronzers as well. 
There may have been two or three different powders. I think two powders as well as the bronzers. But again, really good product. Definitely worth looking into. So, been loving that. Also for the face, I've been loving my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Blush Gems. I have it on today again. It is a really pretty pinky champagne kind of color. Really pretty. Gives you a beautiful glow. And it's just... It's just stunning. Three bucks for these. I love all of these e.l.f. highlighters. They are the bomb. If you don't have any, check them out. Again, this is Blush Gems. Okay. Face products, I think we're done with. Let's move on to the eyes. So, two actual hot pots from Coastal Scents, as I drop them. Um, these are my favorites. I absolutely love these. This is, uh, this is New Terrain, and it's like a medium brown. It's kind of got like a... Okay, so bad at describing these colors, but it's like a medium brown. Really, really pretty for in the crease. It's what I use to darken up my crease today. Um, guys, if you want to see this tutorial, it's coming up. So again, um, why am I all over the place? Anyway, Tina, keep it together. This is <laughs> New Terrain. I use it in my crease to darken it up. Love it. Love these Hot Pots by Coastal Scents. They are usually, I want to say two bucks, but they usually have sales as if $2 wasn't cheap enough. Um, they do have a lot of 99 cent sales here and there, so check that out. They're definitely inexpensive, and they're just really, really great eyeshadows. This is the shade Tuscany. I, look at this. Do you see this color? Mm. I love it. I have this one on my eyes as well, just blown out in the crease. It is just a beautiful pinky brown shade. It's just, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's just beautiful. I mean, these two give me life. See this? They give me life. I love those. Okay, so again, Hot Pots, Coastal Scents, guys. If you have none, um, you definitely need to pick some out. I have a case full of them, and they are just the bomb. So definitely check out Coastal Scents. I'll link them down below. Going back to the eyes. I have two more eye products here. Actually, no, I have a bunch. Okay, so concealers. Let's do concealers. I recently pulled these out of my collection as well. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade Fair Light, number 230. I love it. Used it today. It's a very light concealer. It gives a good amount of coverage, but it's not heavy on the eyes, so that's why I like it. And then this is the HD by e.l.f., the lifting concealer. This is yellow tones, as you can see, and it comes with a doe foot applicator. It's a really, really, really good brightening concealer. And what I did was I went in with the Rimmel under my eyes, and then I just dotted a little bit of this in a triangle just to add some life and some brightness back in there. It is beautiful. If you can tell, it's gorgeous. So love that combination together. Um, also for the eyes, guys, eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. This is the primer potion. I love it so, so much. I don't need to rave about it. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. This is a skin tone, that's too much, skin tone color, so it just helps to cancel out anything you got going on in the lids that you don't want there. It's really great for priming your eyes for shadows. Helps them stay all day, so that's where it's at. Okay, next thing, what, it, what was this? <laughs> uh, okay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is in zero. Love this for tight lining. I used it to tight line my upper lashes today just to make them nice and dark and bold. Love it. Creamy. Lasts a very good long while. Doesn't really transfer that much. A little bit it will transfer, but I got a smoky eye going on, so not worried about that. Um, lashes. I have been loving my L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions. I love it. You guys know that L'Oreal is like my favorite when it comes to mascaras. I love their wands. I love, love, love the formula. The bomb. Okay. Next thing, we have lip products and then that will wrap up my Saturday standout. First thing is actually a lipstick by Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Bare It All. Mm, I have it on my lips. I love it. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's what it says. It's a nude shade. It's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And then on top of it, I've been going over it with the Show Off Lip Lacquer by Rimmel. This is in the shade Nude Eclipse. Again, just beautiful. I love my nudes. That's it on top right here. Okay. And then the last one I want to show you is by NYC. It's the Expert Last Lip Lacquer. And this is in the shade Bear Brooklyn, number 100. Again, a nude. 
Love it. It's a little bit more peachy than the, um, the Rimmel one. There it is up there. Really, really pretty. These have been like my go-to nude shades for the past like week. And I love them. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and give me a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys like these videos. Again, I'm sorry about last week. I will try not to miss a, another Saturday standout. But what can you do? Stuff happens, right? I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. And thanks, as always, for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.